anything I touch turns to money or any doll I touch comes to life. I'm too little to have money and I don't have any friends in foster care so I pick this one. I pick this Barbie to come to life. Whoa. Hi, I'm Come Alive Barbie. Are you gonna be my friend? Of course, I can be anything you want me to be. You can brush my hair and take me anywhere. Cool. You can also customize me using this remote. I want to give you brown eyes like me. Eau Claire, who are you talking to? Uh oh. Lisa, that's another comfortable to live here. She's really into dolls. Barbie. What the? Barbie, I told you to hide. Sorry, Claire. I just love making new friends. Does this control her? Hey, give that back. Uh, just let me see it. Stop. You're going to break her. Uh, you're so annoying. This is why no one wants to adopt you. I don't want your dumb remote anyways. You killed her. <laughs> Have fun with your dead Barbie. Barbie, please wake up. Hola. Soy Barbie. Como estas? Uh oh, I think she reset you onto Spanish mode. Eres mi mejor amiga. Barbie, I can't understand you. What am I gonna do? Barbie, I can use my powers to bring Ken to life to help us. I hope you know how to bring Barbie off of Spanish mode. Hey, Barbie. Hola, Ken. Why is she speaking Spanish? That's why I brought you here, Ken. I don't know how to make her speak English. Can I see her remote? Sure. That should be it. Hey, Barbie. Hi, Ken. Want to go for a drive? Sure, Ken. Activate the Barbie car. We cannot tell anyone that you're dolls. What do we say if they ask us? Tell them that, that you're my parents. Okay. We have to be really quiet so we can sneak out of here. Thanks for buying me this stuff, Barbie. Claire, you deserve it. Hey, you. You never paid me back my money. Claire. Claire. How dare you? Who are you guys? We are her parents. She got adopted? That's right, and one of her mother's many jobs is being a police officer. So if you don't leave right now, we're going to have you arrested. No, no, sorry, forget about the money. Bye! Claire, are you okay? My arm got a little cut. Press the top button on the remote. Okay. Dr. Barbie is here to help. You're so strong, Claire. You should be feeling much better now. Barbie, Ken, you said that you can be anything, right? Yeah. That's right. Well, I want you to be my real mommy and daddy. You want us to adopt you? Yeah. Can you do that? Okay, pick a babysitter. A navy seal or a ninja? What kind of options are those? I need someone who can protect you while I'm away. From what? An army? You know, ever since dad died, you've been acting really weird. Sissy, pick the seal. You do realize it's not the animal seal? You know what? Never mind. Thanks for coming. These are my kids, Sarah, Sadie, and the baby, Susie. Nice to meet you. Miss Lane, I can assure you, your kids are in great hands. I want dinner. Shut up! She's asleep. I don't care. I'm hungry. Don't make me push you into the wall. Hey, don't talk to your sister like that. And you kid need to learn some manners. Her learn manners, please. You also do realize you're not the first babysitter we had. Is that so? Yeah, you're like the fifth one. All the other ones quit. Uh-huh. They don't like us. Said we're not disciplined enough. Well, I can assure you I'm not going to quit. It's my duty to protect you. <laughs> well, speaking of duty- Her, learn manners, please. You also do realize you're not the first babysitter we had. Is that so? Yeah, you're like the fifth one. All the other ones quit. Uh-huh. They don't like us. Said we're not disciplined enough. Well, I can assure you I'm not going to quit. It's my duty to protect you. <laughs> well, I'll let you handle that. Uh, wait. Just, um, FYI, you're putting on her diaper backwards. It's supposed to go this. Somebody's in the house. Take the baby and stay here. Sadie! Stay very quiet. Sadie! Stay very quiet. <laughs> it's gonna be okay. Sarah! Are you okay? No, there was a scary guy outside my window. What? Your security has been compromised. What is going on? Listen, there's a reason your mother hired me to watch over you guys. I'll explain. So let me get this straight. Our dad was a spy, and now the bad guys that were after him are after us? Yes. 
They're after a stolen laptop your dad had retrieved before he died. Somebody tried to break in today, but I'm gonna protect you guys, I promise. You guys need to wear these. What is this thing? It's a tracking bracelet. Will this help keep us safe? Yes, it's so I can keep track of you. Is this yours? I found it in Dad's office. Sadie, you know you're not supposed to be down there, and this isn't mine. Wait a minute, didn't Neff the babysitter say that the bad guys were after a stolen laptop? Do you hear that sound? Yeah, I hear it. Hello, girls. Do you hear that beeping sound? Yeah, I hear it. Hello, girls. Don't be scared. Just give me the laptop. No. Maybe this will change your mind. Uh, Susie. You let her go. Let go of her. Sadie. Come here. Give me the laptop now. Okay, okay, just take it. Finally. You have what you want, now let them go. I don't think so. Take them to the other room. No! Sadie, are you okay? Yeah. Don't worry. The babysitter is going to save us. Do you need this babysitter? No! No one can save me now. Sadie, I think I can get free, but I need you to make the baby cry. Okay. <laughs> Why is she crying? She hates that sound. Hey, you. Is that a charger? <laughs> what are you going to do with that, huh? Well, let's try this. Oh, my heart. See, I think I can get free, but I need you to make the baby cry. Okay. <laughs> Why is she crying? She hates that sound. Hey, you. Is that a charger? <laughs> what are you going to do with that, huh? Well, let's try this. Oh, my heart. I'm scared. It's going to be all right. Let's get you free. Neff, come on, wake up. <laughs> what happened? The bad guys, they got the laptop and- What is going on? Girls, stay back. You think you can fight? You're not gonna bother them ever again. Go Neff, go Neff, kick his ass. Where did you learn how to say that? <laughs> I don't know. They think they're protecting my girls. Of course they can. Those men shouldn't be bothering them anymore. Wait, Neff, you're not leaving us now, are you? Can you please just stay a little bit longer? Girls, please. As long as it's okay with your mother. I guess it would be nice to have a man around the house. All right, it's fine with me. Yay. Okay, what'd you get? A mermaid. What? I mean, that would explain the pink in her hair. Honey, she's lying. No, it really says that. That is enough of your nonsense. I pretend, mermaid. We know that's not your hair. It is. Okay, let's see. Oh. You probably glued it. Don't lie about your future. I'm not. It really does say that. Mermaids don't exist. Stop trying to get attention. Hey, how was your day? Horrible. No one believes me. <sighs> Honey, there's something I need to tell you. What are you talking about? Your mom and I aren't your real parents. What? We found you as a baby by the beach. And that was in your hands. So, let me get this straight. You found me on the beach as a baby holding this necklace? Yeah, honey, I know this is a lot to take in. Well, I mean, didn't you look for my parents? They they could have been around somewhere. We did. We were the only ones at that beach. It was a private beach. But you know, I really do believe your future. And I think your real parents are still out there. Do you really think so? Yeah, I do. I think you should wear the necklace. What is going on? Dad told me the truth about everything. What? We agreed to wait until she was 18. No, look, I know now that my future is true, and I think this might be the key to me finding my real parents. Give me that. No more nonsense. But that's mine. As your mother, it belongs to me. He told her everything. I know her transformation is coming. That's why I need you to get over here to help me with her. Get in the car, we're leaving. Wait, what? Hello, nice to meet you, Marlena. What is going on? What is this place? This is my laboratory. I study your kind. My kind? Yes. Mermaids, of course. But I thought mermaids didn't exist. Right, Mom? I actually believe your future, honey. You made me feel like I was crazy. I was just trying to protect you. No, I want to go home. But Merlina, look what I have. We just want to help you transform. And you can find your real parents. Do you promise? Yes. We just want to help. So what do you need me to do? Okay, now repeat after me. I wish I was a mermaid. I wish I was a mermaid. It's working. The necklace is magic. Her future is changing. Oh no, you can't breathe? 
You were right. She is the princess. I can't believe she's a princess. This is amazing. Mom, you're awake. How do you know my future? Shh. Just rest. I don't feel good. I know, honey. It's because you're still in your mermaid form. It's okay. We got you a tank. Tank? Yes, but in the meantime, we have you hooked up to two IV machines. We just need a few more blood samples. Do you believe mermaids have blue blood? Honey, can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be okay. This has gotta come off. Hey, you feel better, right? Yes. How did you know that would turn me back human? Because your real mother had one just like it. You see, one day I was out fishing and I noticed a woman asking for help on the shore. She was a mermaid and after I saved her, we fell in love. She got this magic necklace from her father that she said helped her stay human. But the day I proposed, she left me. Why? Wait, so does that mean you're my real dad? Yeah, I think I am. For many years I didn't believe it. Because when Sylvia left me, she didn't say why. She was a queen. Wait, what? Why do you say that? My future. It changed a princess after I put on that necklace. Oh my gosh, so your mom was a queen. She must have left me to go back to her people. But I don't understand. If mom left you, then how was I born? Well, I realized something. I think your mom was pregnant when she left me. Because nine months later, I found this on the beach. This was me? <laughs> yep. I think your mom left you there for me so you could have a normal life. But that really wasn't the case. As soon as you learned how to crawl, all you wanted to do was go in the water. You loved anything that had to do with the ocean. And my new wife started to catch on. That's not normal. Where did she get that pink streak? She became obsessed with research and things about you. But she never wanted you to know. That's right. I didn't. I'm not letting you ruin my research. You have all your powers. Use them. Hey yo, you see that nerd right there? I bet you 500 bucks you can't get her a date for the prom. 500? All right, bet bro, you're on. Okay, but if you lose, you owe me 500. Hey, excuse me? Yeah? Please tell me you got two options today. Yeah, I did. But what's it to you? Just tell me what they are, please. I got the option to be smart or be beautiful, but I haven't picked one yet because I can't decide. Pick to be beautiful. Excuse me? Uh, I just mean you're already the smartest girl here, so I would just pick to be beautiful if I were you. <laughs> you really think that I should? Oh yeah. Wow. Well, okay. Nothing's changed. Oh man. Maybe the system's broken. I think it's still loading. But prom's in two days. Yeah, so? Listen, how would you like to go on a little shopping spree with me? You barely even talk to me. Why would you want to take me? I want to be your friend. Come on. Well, my mom does say I need to make more friends. So? Fine. But just so you know, my mom has installed a chip in the back of my head so she can track me wherever I go. Okay. I'm just saying in case you're trying to kidnap me. Uh-huh. Can I see those glasses? Sure, but they're a little busted. And now they're completely busted. Why would you- Chill, chill out. I'll get you something better. But I can't see without my glasses. And that's the bell. Follow me. What does your beauty option say? I would tell you what it said, but I can't see because you broke my glasses. I told you I'm going to buy you contacts, but first we got to fix that unibrow. I'm going to pluck a few hairs, okay? No way. Come on, I'm just trying to help you out. I'm going to make your eyebrows look snatched. It won't hurt too bad, right? Nah, we're just plucking a few little hairs. Ow! Okay, that was a big one. Please tell me you're done. I'm done, and it's looking good. Yikes, I can do eyebrows, but not hair. Time for a professional makeover. A makeover? Yeah, you know, like in those teen movies. It'll be fun. I don't know. Don't be a negative Nancy. Come on, we're going to the mall. I won't even be able to see where I'm going. Just hold my hand, and I'll guide you around. Hey, it's okay. You can trust me. I'll buy you contacts once we get there. Let's go. Those should be your prescription. Can you see? Yeah. Perfect. Now try these on. Remind me again why we're doing this. Uh, I'm just trying to be a good friend to you. That's all. Okay, that top is the one. Now we just gotta get you some hair and makeup to go with it. I will be your hair and makeup artist. Come with me. Are you ready to see her? Yes, ma'am. Let him see, honey. Holy shit. She looks uh, beautiful. Now you have my number. Call me for prom. Bye. How do you feel? I feel... different. Hopefully it's a good different, because next we gotta get you a date to the prom. Why don't I just go with you? Oh, actually, I was planning on asking this other girl, so, uh... Right, of course. But hey, listen, you deserve better than me. 
You know how to flirt, right? Well, sure I do. Okay, let's go over a few things then. First off, guys kind of like it when girls, you know, play with their hair. Like this? Oh boy, we got some work to do. Okay, let's try a subtle lip bite. Uh, no, don't do that. Try again. You know what, never mind. Okay, pretend to ask me to prom. Go to prom with me. Ow. Okay, let's try asking and not grabbing so hard. Sorry. Hey, will you go to the prom with me? All right, that was perfect. If you stare at a guy like that with your eyes, he'll be <clears throat> mesmerized, yeah. I should probably get back home. Yeah, for sure. Hey, Jake, guess what? I got someone to go to the prom with me. Really? Who? Him. What's up, Jake? Bet you didn't see this coming. Here's your 500 bucks, Jake. I guess you won the bet. I didn't think I'd be the one taking her on a date, but damn, she's hot now. I mean, she was already kind of cute. Yeah, well, I just want to have to have the prom. Pump get it done. Right? We'll get over it. I'll talk to you later. Hey, can we talk for a second? What's up? I can't let you go to the prom with him. You can't go to prom with him. What? Why not? Don't mess with my prom date, Jake. I'm not gonna let you use her. Me? You're the one that's been using her. What is he talking about? I was just trying to help you look nice because... Because I made him a bet. A bet? Yep. That you couldn't get a date to the prom. Listen, I know that sounds bad, but... I thought you said you were helping me so you could be my friend. I... You were just using me for money. No. I'm sorry, I should Get away from me. And to think I actually liked... Layla. Never talk to me again. Forget them and... Forget the system. I was beautiful before this makeover, and I'm beautiful now. Maybe this option wasn't supposed to make me beautiful. It was supposed to show me that I already am. But I think for prom, maybe I won't wear the glasses. And you know what? I don't need any guy to go with. I'm going on my own. Hey, Layla. What you doing? Walking to my Uber. Uber? I told you I'm taking you to prom. And I told you I'm not going with you to prom anymore. I'm going alone. That's not gonna happen. Let's go! Get in my car. I told you I'm taking you to prom. And I told you I'm not going with you to prom anymore. I'm going alone. That's not gonna happen. Let's go! Get in my car. No! Hey, Ricky. Let her go. Jake. Get out of here, Jake. I'm not going anywhere, Ricky. Get away from me. I said let her go. Ugh. All right, that's it. Come here. Ricky, I don't want to... Stop it! Leave him alone! Ricky, come on. Let's not... Ugh. Shut up. Hey, Ricky. Ugh. Stay down. Oh. Oh. Hey, are you alright? I'm fine, but you're bleeding. Yeah, you got me pretty good. Hang on, uh, I'm gonna call the police, okay? Okay. Hey, how you doing? Uh, you know, I've been better, but the doctor said I'm clear to go home, so that's good. Thank you so much for saving me. You kind of saved me with that kick. <laughs> Layla, you need to know, that bet was stupid. You were already beautiful. Thanks, Jake. I kind of already found that out for myself. Because you're smart. Well, lucky for us, there's one hour of prom left. I'll let you go hang out with the girl you said you were going to ask. Layla, wait. I don't want to go to prom with anyone but you. I thought you just wanted to be friends. No, Layla, I don't. I mean, if it's okay with you, I'd like to be more than that. I would like that. So should we head to prom? <laughs> Your total's 20 even. Babe, I'm so sorry. I don't think I have enough. Hey, it's okay. I got it. Sorry if I embarrassed you back there. No, you're fine. I understand you're going through a tough time with your job. Tomorrow when the amount in my bank account appears, it might come as a bit of a shock to you. Listen, I don't care how low that number is. I'm gonna love you just the same. Poor thing. It's time to see how little he has. What? My boyfriend is a billionaire? No, there has to be some sort of mistake. I, uh, take it you saw my account? Yeah, and you've got a lot to explain. Whose Ferrari is in our driveway? That's mine. Well, actually, it's going to be yours now. What? No, I am still mad at you. Come with me and I'll explain everything. There was a good reason for me lying. Oh yeah? Was there a good reason for you having me buy your meals for the past year? Heck, I even paid your rent one time. I know, I know. And I'll be paying you back for all of it. Why didn't you just tell me? Because every girl I've ever dated has used me for my money. I was tired of dating gold diggers, and I wanted to find a girl who liked me for me. I promise, I will make it all up to you, and I'm going to start by showing you where I really live. Whoa, now hold up. You have a Chick-fil-A in your kitchen? Yep, and there's a McDonald's upstairs. <laughs> Babe, who are you, Richie Rich? Excuse me for just a moment. 
This is crazy. One of my stocks just went up. A lot. Yeah, actually, I can see that. Why don't you look happy? I'm worried about your safety. You can't tell anyone that you're dating a billionaire. Why can't people know I'm dating a billionaire? Because I'm now one of the youngest billionaires alive. And is that a bad thing? I know a lot of people that would die to get their hands on my money. And you think they'll come after me? I know they will. Promise me you won't tell anyone about my money. Okay, I promise. But you do owe me quite a bit of cash. So what do you say? You take me on a little shopping spree? Well, I can't be seen buying you a bunch of stuff. But I can give you this. Babe, this is like 10K. You didn't owe me this much. I know. Consider it a thank you for being so kind to me. I want you to spoil yourself. Oh, hey, Lizzie. Where's your boyfriend? He's at his house. Why? Oh, nothing. I just think it's kind of sad how he never buys you anything. I mean, look at all the stuff you had to buy yourself. It must be hard to date someone poor. Actually, he's not poor. He's one of the richest people alive. What? <gasps> did you enjoy your shopping spree? Uh, yeah, sure did. Good. I also bought you this necklace. Babe, it's beautiful. Thank you. Delivery for Elizabeth? Yes, how much do I owe you? Oh, it's not you who's gonna owe me money. It's your boyfriend. Lizzie, it's 1 a.m. Why are you up? This isn't Lizzie, but if you want to see her again, you're gonna do exactly as I say. You want me to wire you one billion dollars? Yeah, do it now or she's gone. No, I'll send it. It's done. Now let me speak to her. Okay, talk. Liam, I'm so sorry. This is all my fault. I accidentally told someone that you were... It's okay. I planned for this. Remember that necklace I gave you? Yeah. It's a tracker, babe. No! Please, freeze! Thank you, Liam. I'm glad you were able to get your money back. I don't care about the money. I'm just happy you're okay. You can be adopted by a single father or a single mother. You want to be single father? No. No men. Me. Oh, okay. Yes, that's her over there. Why is she wearing a hospital gown? We found her in it and she won't take it off. Honey, this is the single mom that's gonna adopt you. Say hi. She doesn't know how to talk too well. Poor thing. Hi, I'm gonna be your mom. Mom? Yes, you're gonna come live with me now. Come on, let's go. Don't be scared. You can trust me. Honey, you're gonna have to change out of that. No. Yes, you need to. Sweetheart, please. Mom, maybe I can try and talk to her. Hi, I'm your new big sister. Sister? Yeah, do you want to come and maybe see my room and then we can... Oh, yeah, I'm real. <laughs> so, this is my room. Nice. Also here, I want you to do this. It's a tank top and it's super fuzzy and pretty. Yeah, you should totally try it on. Honey, you're gonna have to change out of that. No. Yeah, you need to. Sweetheart, please. Mom, maybe I can try and talk to her. Hi, I'm your new big sister. Sister? Yeah, do you want to come and maybe see my room and then we can... Oh, yeah, I'm real. <laughs> so, this is my room. Nice. Also here, I want to give you this. It's a tank top, and it's super fuzzy and pretty. Pretty? Yeah, you should totally try it on. I think it would look super cute on you. See, you look so pretty. My mom said they found you on the side of the road. How did that... Bad men. Oh. Do you want to talk about... No? Okay. <sighs> Dinner's ruined, girls. The chicken's still frozen. I can help. What is she... <gasps> oh my what gosh, the... oh my gosh. What is she... <gasps> oh my what gosh, the... oh my gosh. How did she do she that? She has powers. Oh my god. Mad? No, no, honey. We're not mad. We're just a little shocked. No hurt. What? No, no one's gonna hurt you. Those bad men that you were telling me about? Okay. Mommy, what is her powers? That's horrible. Don't worry. We're gonna keep you safe here. So, can you do anything else, honey? Lift. Heavy. Can you show us what you mean? Whoa. Oh my gosh, she's looking me up. That's incredible. Strong. Yes, you are very strong. Do you have any other powers that we should know about? One more. Wind. Wind? What is- Mom, I think she's trying to show us. Get out of the way. Oh, alright. She wants us to move. Strong. Yes, you are very strong. Do you have any other powers that we should know about? One more. Wind. Wind? What is- Mom, I think she's trying to show us. Get out of the way. Oh, alright. She wants us to move. 
Wow! I stay? Of course you can stay here, honey. But we can never tell anyone or show anyone your powers. Do you understand? Okay, good. Mom, why are you smiling so much? Don't tell me you're still talking to that guy. Well, I can't be a single mom forever. Would it be okay if I invited him over for dinner? It's fine with me, but no, no men, it's bad. No men are all bad. He's gonna be here right now, honey. Can you please just give him a chance? I promise everything will be fine. The girls are down here. This is my friend Dan. Hey, how are you? The girls are down here. This is my friend Dan. Hey, how are you? Bad, bad man. Me. Dan, I'm sorry. She has a fear of men. Oh, poor thing. Hey, it's okay. Oh, sweetie. Mom, maybe I should take her upstairs. You want to come with me? Come on, let's go. Poor kid. Don't you want to try to talk to him? No. I fight. I kill him. <gasps> hey, stop. You can't do that. I didn't mean to yell, but you can't hurt people with your powers. Hey, kid, I was telling your mom that I'm a therapist and I'd like to help you. Lie. Can I have some time alone to talk to her? Sure, Dan. She really needs help. It's okay. You're gonna be fine. It'll just be a few minutes. Hey, look at me. I really missed you. Hey, watch it. You know what happens when you act up. I spent a long time looking for you. What happened to your mom because she didn't listen? It's dead. Can I have some time alone to talk to her? Sure, Dan. She really needs help. It's okay. You're gonna be fine. We'll just be a few minutes. Hey, look at me. I really missed you. Hey, watch it. You know what happens when you act up. I spent a long time looking for you. What happened to your mom because she didn't listen? Dead. So what do you think's gonna happen to your new mom if you don't listen? Dead. So what are you gonna say when we go out? Good girl. Dan, are you sure about this? I'm just gonna take her for a relaxing car ride to get her used to me, you know? Honey, are you sure that's okay? She's fine with it. Right? Finally, we're back to the lab. Now give me that. No. I forgot how strong you are. Let go, or you're going to the moon dome. Okay, kid, now you're gonna have to change back into this. Keep? No, that goes off. Please? I said take it off. Now go change. I change. I told you to take off that. Laura, hey. Mom. You say one word and you're done. I'm gonna take the phone off mute and you're gonna stay silent. Dan, is everything okay? Sorry about that. Yeah, she's doing great. Oh, really? Help, mm -hmm. honey. Sweetheart. Sorry, Laura. She's... Oh. Oh. oh, you broke my hand, you little... Oh. Oh. I escape again. Oh. Honey, someone please answer me. Mom, come find. What? What's happening? Dan, is everything okay? Sorry about that. Yeah, she's doing great. Oh, really? Help, honey. Mm -hmm. Sweetheart. Sorry, Laura. She's... Oh. 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 You broke my hand, you little... Oh. Oh. I escape again. Oh. Honey, someone please answer me. Mom, come find. What? What's happening? Mom, Dan probably kidnapped her. Sissy, where are you? Sweetie, where are you? Room. Okay, honey, we need more details. What does it look like? Right. Mom, she barely knows how to talk. Okay, um, do you know how to dial 911? I... Sorry, Laura. You won't be seeing her anymore. Hurt. Dan, what did you do? Goodbye. Honey. Doctor, I, I found the girl, but we gotta hurry up because she's gonna wake up any minute. They'll look who's waking up. I heard you've been a very bad girl today. You have broken Dr. Dan's hand, so now you must wear restraints. You will not escape ever again. Let. Me. Go. Watch out for laser. Get the glasses, put them in. Bad kid. Hurry, doctor, put them on. No, no. That sedation is not strong enough for her. We're gonna have to get her with the tranquilizer. I'd be good, please. No, you are going to sleep. We need more blood. Okay, let's go get the equipment. Honey, I'm here. I tracked Dan's phone. What did they- Hey, get uh, away from her. Uh, Dan, stop it. You shouldn't have come here, Laura. Uh, how could you do this? Mom. Sorry, kid, but I'm gonna have to get rid of your new mom now. And you'll be too weak to stop me. No. I strong. No. I strong. That's right, honey. Get him. No, stop. Let this going. Whoa. You dead. Oh my gosh, mom. 
I'm okay, honey. Mom, sissy, you fine. Yeah, we're so happy we found you. Come here, honey, hold my hand. We go home? Yeah, we're gonna go. Mom, there's a man in that glass tank. Dad! He dead. Oh my. Mom, it kind of looks like he's- Oh, he's alive. Mommy and Daddy are billionaires, so I know it's going to be a hundred- Five? Honey, quiet. I just want to know one thing. Why is our rich score so low? Sweetie, I've gone bankrupt. Bankrupt? But Daddy, you're a billionaire. He made a bad investment. I'm sorry, honey. <sighs> well, what are we supposed to do now? Just live like peasants? I can't let anyone know about this. Why is your score private? It's just so high that I I don't want to make other people jealous. Please let us see your score. No, you're being sus. Mommy, Daddy, we have a huge problem. What? What? Well, you remember my super rich friend Ashley? The one who's friends with Elon Musk? Mm -hmm. Well, her daddy is in charge of these richness score scales, and she said she's going to have him make our percentage score public. I'm sorry, Pumpkin. I know this is hard. Why are my Gucci shoes in a for sale box? If we sell them, our percentage could go up. Okay, do what you must, because my social status is on the line. Good news, someone bought them on eBay. It only went up 2%. That wasn't worth it. I want my Gucci shoes back. Why did you have to go bankrupt, Daddy? Now tomorrow, I'm going to be publicly humiliated. I can't stand to see her like this. The truth is, Daddy didn't actually go bankrupt. You two lied to me? Yes, because we didn't want you to worry. About what? Recently, some bad men threatened to take you away from us if we didn't pay them billions. And you listened to them? I had to. Daddy, I would think you would know better. This isn't a joke, Pumpkin. I know these men. They would really come for you. Enough. Have they received the money? The transfer is still pending, but this is why our score is so low. Cancel that transfer. If I do that, they're going to get really upset. Cancel it right now, Daddy, or or I'm going to scream. Okay, all right, it's canceled. We have 100%? I can't wait to show the girls. It's not safe for you to be out in public right now. Daddy, I will be fine. Just hire me some bodyguards. Your score is going public in three, two, one. You have a hundred percent? Aw, and it looks like you both are only in the 90s. Ugh. Miss, we need to get you out of here. We have a code red. Who's that man behind you? Brooke, run! <sighs> Todd, how dare you? He was my favorite bodyguard. Are you Brooke Evans? Um, no. Take a... Uh, let me go, you jerks. Read this. Uh, I am not reading that. Yes, you will. Hi, Daddy. This is Brookie. Unfortunately, I have been kidnapped, and... I'm sorry, can we cut? The lighting is just so bad. Just read the script. Okay, jeez. Hi, Daddy. They are saying that they want 1.2... I can't read that. Oh. What? I don't have my contacts. All right, that's enough. Ow. Send us the money, or you're not going to see her again. You better not have ripped out my hair. Be quiet, or we're going to get the duct tape. I'm hungry. Can you guys get me some Starbucks or something? Who do you think we are, Uber Eats? Back to being a peasant. Okay, guys, they transferred the money. Now let me go. Change of plans. <laughs> We're bringing you to a new location. But that wasn't the deal. Someone else gave us a better offer for you. Hey, Brooke. Todd, you're... Shh, quiet. They're asleep. Well, hey, what do you think you're doing? Get back. You don't want to mess with me. I'm an ex-Navy SEAL. What's that supposed to mean, huh? It means he's going to kick your ass. I'd like to see him trouble. Yes, Todd, get them. <coughs> Todd, you're... Shh, quiet. They're asleep. Huh? Hey, what do you think you're doing? Get back. You don't want to mess with me. I'm an ex-Navy SEAL. What's that supposed to mean, huh? It means he's going to kick your ass. I'd like to see him trouble. Yes, Todd, get them. <coughs> And this is why Todd is my favorite bodyguard. Here she is, Mr. Evans. Honey, are you okay? Oh, it was awful. They wouldn't buy me Starbucks, and they made me record videos in horrible lighting. But we're rich again, so everything's fine. No, sweetheart. We realize you need some discipline. Yep. You should have listened to us. Ugh, you guys are annoying me. Talk like that again, and you're going to boarding school. No, I'm sorry. You're going to treat us with respect. All right, I will. Hey, I just wanted to say I'm glad you're safe. Thanks, Todd. Anytime. <laughs>